What's up guys, Zini Gaming here. Let's go through the Chaos Difficulty Gladius Coliseum. Round 1 is Gombi versus Curiel. Curiel is an int boss. He has about 1.6 million hit points. He'll preemptively cut your hit points by 30%. Now you'll notice me using a double Kuma team. Now, the reason I'm using double Kuma is because Kuma will reflect damage back at our enemies. Also gives us a ton of hit points to work with. I also didn't use my remove blind ability because I am a noob. Uh, so we bring Halloween Robin so she can remove our blind so he can actually hit our perfects. Uh, he'll also silence both of our captains. That's they can't use their specials for five turns. And with how much health Kuma gives us, it really doesn't matter. <clears throat> Guild of Sorrow is just going to give us a few yellow orbs here because what I want to do is I want to get rid of these two perfect hit barriers. That way whenever Curiel and the Int guys attack us, we're going to be able to reflect damage back at them. So here I'm just most importantly getting rid of their perfect hit barriers, going to do a little bit of damage to them. And then when Curiel attacks and the other guys attack, the reflect damage will take care of them and then we can finish them off pretty easily. Uh, with double Kuma. You want to use the marine ship because the marine ship will give us a lot of extra health. 50% extra health is a ton. And then once everyone else around Curiel is dead, we can take our time. Just attack him a bunch of times. We have so much health, it doesn't really matter. Every other turn, Curiel will give us all empty orbs and also uh, clear our buffs. And whenever we have our specials up, we're going to use uh, wait until he gives us empty orbs, use Kuma, use Momonga and then kill him on that turn. Now if you get him below 20% he will attack for 23,500 damage. The Int Ein, the Colosseum Ein there is only really used uh, for the heal. You can replace her with another Cerebral Psy character or anyone else you'd like. But she is quite nice if you end up taking more damage than you want to. Use her special to heal up and uh, make sure you don't, uh, even if you take that below 20% attack, You'll be fine. You've got a lot, a lot of health on this team. And there we go. We've got our specials back. We use Kuma special. We use Momonga special. We hit all our perfects. And Curiel will go down. Uh, also to mention, the units around Curiel have about 180,000 to 280,000 hit points. The uh, the two guys in the far back with the Gatling gun hands, those have the lowest hit points. And the two cannoneers with the perfect hit barriers, those have the most hit points. Round two will be versus Anel. Anel, very, very important to mention on Anel is do not use a healing special. If you use a special that heals you, Anel will deal 90% of your current hit points and damage and paralyze everyone for 10 turns. So um, you can still heal using your recovery orbs, you'll be okay. But if you use a special that heals like a, a Psy or Quick Marco, and that will paralyze you and you're gonna have a very bad time. Uh, since he has a one hit great barrier, you're gonna be using a Sabo Log Luffy team. The Ace boosts our damage. You can replace Ace with another Free Spirit booster. Hancock is perfect, of course, as always, on the Log Luffy Sabo teams. After a good, great, perfect, we land those last three perfects and then he goes down so easily. Like, if. With one turn burst on Anel is very, very easy. You just gotta remember that gimmick of if you use a healing special, he will cut your hit points by 9% and paralyze your entire team for 10 turns. Rebecca on round 3 will preemptively despair both of our captains for 5 turns. Now you can either stall that out with Golden Pond Usopp or you can use a despair remover. I'd recommend stalling it out so that way you can take a few turns to either look for better orbs, you can still use specials and stuff on those turns. Whatever you'd like to do. Now this this fight is uh, a little bit slower and then the other two, but but it's not really that slow. Actually, I guess it's not as slow as Kuril. I take it back. Pretend like I didn't say anything. Rebecca has 1.62 million hit points. She'll attack every two turns for 7,900 damage. Uh, she'll also prevent all recovery for your team for 15 turns, which means you cannot heal at all. You cannot heal using recovery or you cannot heal using your... Heal per turn of power, you can't heal using any specials, so don't count on healing for 15 turns. You can remove that anti-healing debuff, for example, with Rare Recruit Kobe special, but unless you're using a special to get rid of it, eh, you don't need heals. But it's okay, we're going to be killing Rebecca before she even attacks. So now that our despair is gone, we can use the rest of our specials. A few matching orbs thanks to Killer. 
and Zoro to do a 10% health cut as well. I should have targeted that on Rebecca, but who cares? Uh, that is the plus Zoro. That is 5 plus Zoro, the one you get from evolving your version 1 Zoro. The uh, Rebecca, whenever all the units around her dies, she will enter counter stance, which means she will reflect how much damage you deal to her. So make sure you, you kill Rebecca la uh, second to last. Make sure you leave someone alive before you kill Rebecca. And if you do that, you'll make quick work of her. Round 4 is going to be versus Zoro. Zoro is a dex character. He has 4.9 million hit points. He'll preemptively deal 2,222 damage and deal another 2,222 damage at the end of every single turn. So we're going to want to kill him very quickly. Uh, he will lower your chance of matching orbs for 10 turns. So you'll have a lot of badly matching orbs for 10 turns. And he'll also shuffle all your orbs whenever he does that. Now I'm going to be using the Thousand Sunny 2 special here. You could use the Thousand Sunny 2 special to reduce damage taken. Uh, at this point it doesn't matter though because if I need a little bit more hit points in order to take this hit. But you could use the Thousand Sunny 2 special, take a hit, and then kill him later. Uh, you want a lot of matching orbs with this team. Kuma helps get some matching orbs. I got lucky with orbs. Akainu is so dang powerful though. Boosting the attack of a lot of our characters. Monster Chopper here is just for a little bit of damage. Uh, ideally, you'd use Kid and Kuma together to give you all matching orbs. My Kid special is a little bit too long. If you can stall to use Kid plus Kuma, you'll make quick work of Zoro. But look at that damage, man. Even with two missing orbs. Monstrous. Monstrous. Gainu, you are disgusting. And then on the final round of Zoro Gladius. We're gonna have a random round three fight. You can either get Curiel or Enel or Rebecca on round three. They all do the exact same through as uh, exact same things as their previous versions, except that they have lower hit points. They all have about five hundred thousand hit points, which makes them a lot easier. Uh, if you can use Golem Hot Usopp, use Golem Hot Usopp on this stage. That means against Curiel and Rebecca, you use Golem Pound Usopp. And then you'll have a pretty easy time with both of those fights. Curiel, use Golem Hunt Usopp, just attack him and you'll be able to clear it out. Uh, Rebecca, use Golem Hunt Usopp, just attack and you'll clear it out. Against Enel, you're not going to be able to use Golem Hunt Usopp because he has debuff protection. So against Enel, uh, attack on turn 1. You're not going to be using uh, any specials against Enel. Just attack on turn 1 and then uh, take the Paralysis on turn 2. See if you can get an attack off. Uh, probably not going to get that much damage off against him. And then attack again on turn 3 and then take him out on that turn. The Cavendish Friend is very important. You want to have as high cotton candy your Cavendish Friend as possible to make your final stage a lot easier. It's not necessary. I believe this Cavendish I have is um, has, has no cotton candy, I think. I don't remember. I uh, suppose I could go back a few seconds, but that's too much work at this point. Uh, but... Just like on the previous fights against Rebecca and Ellie, you just want to take him down quickly. Zoro has 2.12 million hit points. He has much less health than he did before. We want to use the new Coded Sunny to reduce damage taken from Zoro. This will reduce damage taken from both his attack and his end of turn damage. We're going to be using Salo Special to deal extra damage to him. The real spe the specials you really really want to save for later on is Cavendish, but you can use other specials like the Luffy Delay. Uh, you can use Luffy Delay here just fine because we're going to be using Golden Pound Usopp Delay on the final stage. If you use Golden Pound Usopp Delay earlier, just like I did, you'll have it ready by the time you get to Gladius. Doflamingo or Kuma special can be used here, whichever one is better for you. And then take these or out. But yeah, one one big difference that I could have done here versus this fight is I could have used the Luffy delay, whereas I didn't use the Luffy delay because on the final stage we're gonna be using Golden Pound Usopp anyways. We don't need Luffy's delay. Gladius has 3.5 million hit points. He'll preemptively limit us to using only one special per turn. Now this is a new debuff. You'll see it on the upper left side there. It tells you how many specials you can use per turn. This includes the ship special. So if you use the Thousand Sunny special, if you use the Thousand Sunny 2 special, you use any other ship special that counts as the only special you get to use for that entire turn. Uh, so we're going to use Gohan Usopp on the first turn and kill all the guys on the outside. Those guys on the outside have the uh, high hit points, 
low, I mean, low hit points, high defense, and they will bind whatever type they're weak against. Just use your combo hits to take them out. They have six hit points each. Or uh, do they have five hit points each? They have five hit points each. Sorry, they have five hit points each. Uh, so they have like five hit points each. Attack them all, take them all down. Gladius will cut your hit points by 30% every two orb turns and shuffle your orbs and includes bomb orbs. Turn two, we're gonna be using Cavender's special to boost his own attack. You can also use a, another two turn special, like yeah, if you still have your solid special, you use another special earlier, you can use solid special. But you're gonna be using Cavender's special and whenever you do so, if you use Golem Hunt Usopp to delay against Gladius, you have a ton of time to make your phone stop beeping at you. You have a ton of time to actually attack Gladius and take him down. Two perfect hits will make easy work. Uh, two perfect all-out attacks will make easy work of Gladius. Uh, but you'll also notice that I miss my perfects against Gladius, which means I don't quite get to kill him with the Cavendish. I mean, look at that damage. Cavendish, you're amazing. Uh, on turn two, three, or on turns three, four, five, this is where you use your extra special so you still have them. You can use Down and Sunny special or whatever here. Since I missed that perfect, he's still alive. We're gonna be using Kuma to boost our orbs and also Luffy to do just a little bit of damage. I didn't get any good matching orbs here, so we're just using Luffy for damage. I don't get to delay him because he's still delayed with Golem Hunt Usopp's. And then Kuma on the final stage, but it is much, much easier if you just hit your perfects with the Cavendish. He'd be dead already. Uh, Gladius, what does he actually do? Gladius is a strength shooter driven character. He maxes out at 1.4 uh, thousand attack. It's a pretty great attack. His captain ability boosts the attack of shooters by 1.75 times and the attack of driven characters by 1.5 times. So if you're using a shooter driven character, they get a total of 2.625 times attack, which is great, but they're not too many driver shooting characters. So it makes a team a little hard to build. His special, however, is amazing and makes him very, very useful on shooter teams. He deals strength damage to all enemies, reduces your bind and despair for two turns, and boosts color affinity for shooters by 1.75 times. Now that is a huge color affinity boost. If you don't know what color affinity does, it makes dex attacks stronger against dex, or de makes your dex characters deal extra damage to strength, uh, to quick enemies, Quick enemies, quick characters deal extra damage to red enemies, and so on and so forth. So, uh, for example, where a red character would normally deal two times damage to a green character with color affinity, he now deals an extra 1.75 times damage, which is amazing. A very, very strong affinity color booster on a shooter team. He's also a red character, which makes him perfect for that red spot that a lot of people, if you do not have a strong old Frankie, find a little hard to uh, fill in for shooters. So Gladius, amazing shooter. Very, very good. I've been Zinigami. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck, and y'all stay beautiful.